Hello there and welcome to 5 tips for coping with difficulties in group work. Group work is an essential part of your university experience, helping you to develop skills whilst also helping you to make friends with those people on your course. However, sometimes there are problems that do occur when working in groups, so in this video we will give you some tips and advice for how to overcome the problems that you may face. The classic reason why students sometimes dislike group work is because they don't want to work with uncooperative students who may reduce their scores or may gain a higher mark than they deserve. Our key piece of advice is to try to communicate with an individual who is either struggling with their work or is not cooperating with the team. The key is to find out why that team member is unable to complete his or her section of the project. It may be that they need assistance from other team members they may also be facing a difficult personal issue. Whatever the problem, it is preferable to help the person to complete their task rather than having other teammates complete it for them. This will increase fairness and reduce your overall workload. Most lecturers regard the need to cope with difficulties facing the group as a key part of the assignment. So avoid complaining to them about individuals unless you feel that you have exhausted all of your available options. Groups having a dominant team member is quite common, and there isn't always a correlation between who is the loudest or talks the most and who has the best ideas. The best ideas come from the group when everyone contributes and helps to shape the group using everyone's experience. Where a person is dominating discussions, one solution is that the chairperson or other group members point out that everyone needs to be heard and ask quieter members for their ideas. Having a timekeeper can be quite helpful in stopping individual members dominating discussions as they can time every member's contributions. It is also possible to politely indicate to the dominating person that he or she is taking more than their fair share of time. To avoid a dominant team member doing all the work, split the work so that every member has specified individual tasks. These tasks can be discussed in the team meetings and progress can still be checked. Some team members may be quiet during team meetings. This may be for a number of reasons, including confidence, other team members dominating, or because they don't feel that they have anything to contribute. One way to help silent team members is to give them the chance to speak, by asking them for their ideas and asking them to talk about their specified tasks. Try to leave a space after each person's contribution so that the quieter team members have time to indicate that they have something to say. When any team member contributes, pay attention to them as they speak and acknowledge the contributions of others to discussions, even if you disagree with what they have to say. You can say, for example, That's a very interesting point, but have you thought about X? Try to acknowledge their contributions and support what they have said. This will give them more confidence and will help them to speak later on. As discussed previously, having team roles can help when coping with the problems often faced by groups. Roles include the chairperson, the timekeeper, the task manager and the secretary. The chairperson's job is to keep discussion focused and to make sure that everyone's voice is heard. The chairperson chooses who to speak and facilitates everyone getting involved. They should try to prevent the group getting stuck on one point or being dominated by one voice. Having a chairperson is therefore really useful in allowing quieter team members to talk and avoiding other louder team members dominating. The timekeeper is responsible for keeping the meeting moving forward so that everything is covered. They may also time members' contributions to stop one teammate dominating, giving everyone an equal opportunity to engage in discussions. Timekeepers help to ensure that every meeting lasts no longer than it needs to. Task manager ensures that everyone is keeping up with their task in between meetings. If someone is having difficulties or struggling with their part of the project, task manager should identify this and call other group members for help. Task managers are useful in identifying and supporting non-cooperative teammates. They should not feel that they have to do all the work of non-cooperative teammates. Finally, a secretary keeps minutes of the meetings 
keeping everyone informed of what needs to be done and when it should be done by. Keeping records is really useful when coping with difficulty. We recommend that you take minutes of your meetings recording all decisions that happen in the team. Recording decisions means that where there is a conflict, there is a written record of what was agreed in the meetings. Included in this is what each team member's responsibilities are and when each task or part of a task should be done by. This can resolve conflict and give each team member a clear focus of what their individual part of the group project is. At each meeting, each member should accept that the minutes are correct and that they understand what they're expected to do, as this can be evidenced to help solve conflict. In addition to these tips about coping with difficulties in group work, we also have some other pieces of advice for being effective in group work, so check that out in that video. We also have lots of other videos on our channel that can help you with your assignments, so why not check them out as they may be useful in your group work. We're also running online workshops when you can ask the skills team and the academic librarian team any questions that you may have. To see a list of these, check out the description of this video. That's all for now though, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.